Hello and good morning, you two crazy nuts. <laughs> good morning, hi. Man, you guys, what, what, what you have done with Reno 911 continues in It's a Wonderful Heist. My God, I mean, it is just an unbelievable presentation. Thank you very much. We, uh, we really wanted to get uh, Nick Swartzen, who plays Terry, the roller skating street hustler. We really wanted to get him back into the mix as everybody's uh, one of everybody's favorite side characters. So uh, we thought letting him play like uh, the Clarence the Christmas Angel seemed like a pretty good <laughs> idea. And I do, think, I do think Tom Lennon is who I think of when I think of our uh, generation's Jimmy Stewart. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, me if, too. if Jimmy Stewart was really inappropriate, mm-hmm. uh, I, I go Tom Lennon any mm-hmm. day. Oh my God! And and the really the thing that's really funny about this, and I don't want to spoil it for listeners and stuff like that. But when 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 the bell rings, the that line that he comes yeah. up with is is it's priceless. It's so today. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's probably the the darkest take on the "It's a Wonderful Life" story that <laughs> that happens in the film. The film actually is a pretty upbeat Christmas movie, with obviously some some Reno nine one one weirdness moments. But well, that, but that's what that's what we expect. Moments. That's what we expect yeah. from you guys. And and the thing is, is that we go in, so. we go in there for the shock and awe. And then when we watch it again, then we go in for the storyline. And then we go in again. And then we sit there. We go, okay, we're going to talk about this with our friends. And I want to make sure that we get it right. <laughs> right. If you've had yeah, enough we, hot cocoa this this holiday season, this is it's time for like a big hot mug of rumple mint. That's <laughs> you know, uh, the Reno movie. Yeah. We like to take our audience super super low. Right. So then it's easy to get them up again. Mm-hmm. I, ne- I never uplifting. even thought of, I never even thought about that kind of an angle because, I mean, you, you sit there and you try to figure out why is it that I'm laughing so much? And you are. You are sitting inside our hearts and inside what we're thinking, and all of a sudden, boom, we're, we're on our way again. <laughs> With a- reality being what it is these days, it's, uh, it's hard to top that, but I think we may have done it in, in, in the crazy, disturbing part. And, and, and kudos to Comedy Central for being a main supporter of you guys throughout these years and things like that. Because, I mean, you guys have, every every time you watch any program with Reno 911, what happens is is that it takes us away from, like you said, the present place. And even with It's, it's a Wonderful Heist, I mean, this right here is going to be something we'll be watching in June and July. Oh, yes. It is It is a an all-year-round favorite as far as I'm concerned. And because, also, here's a tidbit. Tom Lennon's character, Lieutenant Dangle, does at one point appear as Jesus in a teeny tiny loincloth, kind of a Jesus diaper. Um, so that's summer wear right there, you know? Tom, for you, writing and acting, how does one stay focused on creating in, in both outlets? Because, I mean, it's, it's one of those where you can put the words on paper, but now you've got to go bring it forward with other actors. Well, you know, to me, it's, it's interesting. I, I find them to be basically the exact same job. Oh, wow. Um, you know, which is like when I'm writing something else, you're really just acting all the characters and you're improvising just but on paper. So to me, I find them to be, you know, and I also find that usually writers who have had some performing experience and for sure improv experience tend to, it makes you a better writer. In fact, in our screenwriting book that we wrote a couple of years ago, we said, if you're not sure how to take your writing to the next level, go take an improv class. Ooh, yeah. uh, because it'll be super, super helpful to, you know, you can always tell when someone hasn't really ever acted and then you get these dialogue scenes that are like, whoa! It's like, nobody <laughs> talks like that. Um, but a fun thing for us on Reno that we don't really script the dialogue means that people end up always saying the most inappropriate things that are also that would never be approved by any like standards right. and practices, which is, I think, one of our, our weird strong points. Yeah. yeah. Now, yeah. does does music play that way for you as well, Mary? Because I mean, I mean, because that right there, that's rhythm and flow. That's the pause. That's the crescendo. Does it does it play out in your acting as well? Oh, for sure. I mean, I think every every uh, acting role, especially comedy, it has a lot of music to it. Um, I don't know if in this bunch, if I'm a sousaphone or a triangle, but uh, that would be interesting to see what we mm-hmm. are instruments. But yeah, I mean, especially because there's so many. Uh, of us now, that whole like you got to listen thing, um, yeah. I really have to keep going back to that. Um, and uh, and improv is is good for that. It just uh, it it reminds you that we're just playing dress up. Yeah. You know, it just keeps it 
light and fun and, and goofy. One of the things that Reno has been so incredible about is that the background is also one of the stars. And and in this particular uh, Christmas episode, it's it's a wonderful heist. The bicycle. Oh my God, we're gonna people are gonna be talking about the bicycle for a long time. We, <laughs> we uh, it's uh, Lieutenant Dangle's bicycle has become sort of legendary for the terrible things that happened to it over and over and over again. And I will say there's a weird detail, which is it's mostly based on my own life. I've had I've never owned a bicycle that was not stolen, including having bicycles stolen out from under me or while I was watching. Um, and I've given pursuit to bicycle thieves. But uh, this one is really great. The guy who uh, sort of um, attacked my bicycle on this one is actually our our, our prop master on the on the film, who's a uh, Guillaume Deloche, who's an armorer and one of the greatest prop masters in the world. Um, what he's filling in as the person who attacks my bike. <laughs> it's a great moment. He was, he was, I think he was pretty pleased that he made the trailer, too. So, <laughs> Do you find yourself doing other seasonal uh, episodes and stuff like that, like maybe an Easter one or even something uh, you know, that, that'll celebrate the 4th of July? Because, I mean, Reno is so one-on-one in, in the way that we can all relate with the characters because we know those characters. We had talked about the idea of uh, possibly doing, because it feels like we'd be a good fit for like a Halloween special. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> since, since we're mostly all in Halloween costumes already, or yeah. we are yeah. Halloween costumes already, uh, it did feel a little like some maybe some sort of Fright Night type idea. Um, or I've also just pitched that we just keep doing Christmas specials every <laughs> single year. Yes. Yeah. Like a, <laughs> Forever and ever and ever. And I think we... tradition, yeah. I think we should ha- do maybe like an administrative assistance day special. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> You've got the power. You guys have got the power to make all that happen. <laughs> <laughs> and plus, one one of your specials has got to be, there's got to be a soundtrack that's got to be released where Mary can feature her band and you guys can do the, the individual bands that you know, that you love on the show. Oh, and Tom plays a kick-ass guitar in this special as Jesus. He's yeah. acting as Jesus. And playing the guitar at the same time. Oh my God. Most uh, people probably won't believe that I am playing that entire part live in the scene, which is just not the way you would normally do that. But it's a little bit like, I think, Spinal Tap. Whenever Spinal Tap plays, they really play live. So yeah. we, we, we try to at least honor the Spinal Tap level of commitment. You know, I, I'm glad yeah, that... I'm glad that you brought that up because, I mean, there, there are many times that I've, I've, I've had conversations with people saying that the thing about Reno 911 is it's like an ongoing spinal tap. That is so funny that you would bring that up. That's so nice. I love that Very conversation. so, yeah. I mean, that would be a, an honor to be compared to that. Yeah. Wow. wow. I'm, calling us the, I'm calling us the cockroach of comedy. <laughs> we think we're gone and no, nope, no, nope, you better spray again. They're still here. <laughs> and it's all on Comedy Central. You guys have got to come back to this show anytime. The future is always going to be open for you on this program. Thank you so much. Excellent. Well, be brilliant today, you two. Thanks. Thanks.